bring you guys a second place deck profile from Anaheim Regionals. Uh, there was over a thousand people at that Regionals and this is the deck. Evil Sworn is brought to you by Brian Cornella. He was the one who won LA Regionals with Macro Rabbit. Yeah, one more Jolteon in top 32, so Brian Cornella is made top 32. Oh, there was three? What's going on YouTube? This is Brian Canales, and in today's video, we have a Mewtwo V Union control deck and max rarity. Shout out to the online player, Kat Noaga from the US. He was able to get that first place at the Underground Series. And six rounds of Swiss, he won next one. His only loss was against Aurora V-Star. If you look at his matchup spread in his six rounds of Swiss, the only loss was against that Zoroi Vistar because that's the only deck that's able to do 300 plus damage. But against everything else, looks like easy dubs. Pog your Vistar and Tilion, Lost Zone single price, and that Arceus Gudra Vistar. And then in top 8, he got through that Mew VMAX DTE. Without Meloetta, Mew VMAX struggles against Mew to be Union Control. And then in top 4, he was able to get through that RCS V-Star Flying Pikachu deck. And then in the finals, another easy dub. La Zone Single Price. They can handle the power of Mewtwo V Union. Standings, first place. The Underground Series. Alright, here we go. Four pieces of the Mewtwo V Union. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the player that put this deck on the mat, Sander Wozic, from Europe, he gave out his opinion on the Mewtwo V Union control during Lost Origin format, since it started popping up, but since it started popping up and doing pretty well in the online tournaments, he said that he's loving the new cards in the deck, he's giving it that second layer of control against certain decks. And check out his tweet and let's get started you have the union game attach up to two psychic energy cards from your discard pile to this pokemon you got the cyflosion put 16 damage counters on your opponent's pokemon in any way you like this is the attack that destroys all the single prize decks you just spread those damage counters all around the bench and then try to go for knockout next turn then we got the ability Fold on Barrier, prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. And then we got the final burn. You need three Psychic Energies and one Colorless. It does 300 damage. Um, we do play four Psychic Energies, so we are able to get this attack off. And then the last piece, 310 health points, Psychic, Super Regeneration, two Psychic Energies and one Colorless. Heal 200 damage from this Pokemon. Up next, we have the Triple Snorlax, the ability Gormandize. Once during your turn, as this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may draw cards until you have 7 cards in your hand. If you use this ability, your turn ends. Then we have the Snorlax from Pokemon Go, the ability Block. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's active Pokemon can retreat. One of the new Pokemon addition to the deck is Regilecki, mainly because of the Electromagnetic Sonar. Put a trainer card from your discard pile into your hand. You're able to recycle those items such as Crushing Hammer, Yellow Horn, and so on. Then we have the one mil tank. If we hit those, if we hit those decks that can't play around the mil tank, we'll take those all day. The ability Miracle Body prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon V. This is another addition to the deck. More Pico, Shining Fates. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks. During your opponent's next turn, that Pokemon can use that attack, and it does 20 damage. Another way to put your opponent's next turn in an awkward position. Then the second attack, Spark. You need a Lightning Energy and a Colorless to attack for 50. This attack also does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Pretty cool. This is the second layer that 
Sandor Wothich was talking about. We got the Pukumuku, the ability to pitch a Pukumuku, put in the bottom of your deck, draw one card. And we have the Radiant Greninja and the ability to conceal cards. Pitch those Psychic Energies, Speed Lightning Energies, draw two cards. Those Psychic Energies are recyclable thanks to that Mewtwo V Union, Union game. We have more ways to put your opponent in an awkward position, Galar Mine. The retreat cause of both active Pokemon is double colorless more. Then we have the Tool Jammer to negate those tool items in your opponent's active. We have one Keep of Toughness. The basic Pokemon this card is attached to gets 50 plus HP. Then we have the one energy retrieval. Just in case we were forced to lose or discard our four psychic energies to the discard pile, then we have ways to get at least two of them back without relying on Silene. We have the Yellow Horn. Both active Pokemon are now confused. More synergy with the Galar Mine. Then we have the double pal pad. There's a loop with Silene to the point that we're never gonna deck out. And if your opponent can't play around Mewtwo V Union and they don't have the Pal Pad and Silene combos and they're decking out. Cause that's what the deck does. Mewtwo V Union control, we stall and wait till your opponent decks out. We have triple scoop of net. Get those Pokemon out of the active, back to the hand. Best card in the deck to play around that Sableye lost my damage spread. We have the four trekking shoes. Draw one card, and if you don't want it, discard it, then draw another card. We have the four crushing hammer. Flip a coin of heads. Put an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon into the discard pile. We have four Quick Ball. Search for any basic Pokemon, add it to your hand. Then we have the four Ultra Ball. Discard two cards. Search for any Pokemon, add it to your hand. Moving on with the supporters. Um, Team Yells Cheer. Shuffle up to three in any combination of Pokemon and supporter cards. Except for Team Yells Cheer from your discard pile into your deck. More ways to recycle our cards without ever decking out. We got the Professor's Research. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. We got the Misfortune Sisters, a new supporter from the Lost Origin set. Look at the top five cards of your opponent's deck and discard any number of item cards you find there. Your opponent shuffle the other cards back into their deck. It was good against the Lost Zone Engine with all those items, switching cards. We have one Flannery. Discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon and discard a stadium in play. Then we have the one Roxanne. You can only use this card if your opponent has three or fewer prize cards remaining. Each player shuffle their hand into their deck. You draw two cards. You draw six cards and your opponent draw two. Hand disruption. We are playing double bosses orders. More ways to stall out your opponent, get those bench Pokemon. Just to get those bench Pokemon in the active and hopefully they're stuck. Then we have the double Silene. Flip two coins, put a number of cards, put a number of cards to the number of heads from your discard pile on top of your deck in any order. Yeah, as long as you keep getting that one head, recycle that one pal pad, we're never decking out. And then Paul Pat put the Silene back and vice versa. Then we have the double Peonia. Put up the three prize cards into your hand. Then for each prize card you put into your hand in this way, put a card from your hand face on as a prize card. The only way to get those Me Too V Union pieces from the prize to the hand. Up um, next, we have four Psychic Energies, 
Uh, I'm liking the the number on this because we are able to abuse all the attacks in Me Too v Union. All the attacks. And 4 speed lightning energy. We do play a few lightning energy so if we are able to attach it to one of them, draw two cards. But other than that, it's just a lightning energy. And that is the deck. Well guys, this is it. Shout out to the player, Ken Nawaga, for his first place finish at the Underground Series. Even though in the Limitless TCG tournament, there's a couple more players that have been doing well with this deck. But once again, but also shout out to the player that put this deck on the map, last format, Sandor Wasich, with his top 4 finish at the Intercontinental Championships. And yeah, me to v Union, Lost Origin format, Max Rarity. Beautiful. Until next time.